Oh my goodness. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Helen. I'm in zone 9A. I'm in Houston, Texas, y'all. And when I say it's hot, it's hot. It is about 4.30 and I normally don't come out here until like 7 or 8 o'clock, but I was like, you know what? Let me give them a realistic view of what really goes on here in Texas when it's hot like this. So I think the temperatures before I left out the house, I looked at my, um, what do you call it? Chris calls it a smart garden, the smart garden water meter. And it said it was 99. But when you look like on your website or whatever, it says feels like 106. It's hot. It's just thick and like musky and humidity is crazy. Not musty, but musky, right? So anyway, I thought, I thought I'd come out here and just take account of what's going on and what I need to do. And what kind of like what I want to do, there are some things I want to do. And I just want to show you how overgrown some of these towers are. And to be honest, I think come next year uh, for summer, when spring is over, I think I'm going to leave the beds alone when, springs are, when spring is over and just focus on garden towers for summer. Because I've noticed that the garden towers hold the water and the moisture more and things still keep growing. The tomatoes don't. <laughs> Hold on, I take that back. I have, I'm looking at tomatoes right now that I pick off of almost every day. So yes, tomatoes are still growing, but it's a particular type of tomatoes, those yellow drop tomatoes. And uh, I think I'm going to do some things different next year. I'm just the trees of this whole gardening thing. Because <laughs> I'm like, like summer is summering. And when people say, oh, you can grow this in Texas in the summer, I'd be like, where, girl? I mean, like, what, what part of Texas? Because <laughs> everybody I know that's growing food is like, yeah, the season's over. We'll pick up in, in fall. And I'm like, but, but we got to keep growing. So, you know, I think of things like watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew, and sugar babies. And I should have been growing all that. But when the heat came, I just really got defeated because all my tomatoes just died out on me, right? And I didn't put them all up because I told you I'll cut some of them back. And I decided just to let them grow back and fall. They'll come back when the temperatures drop under 85. I mean, we got to at least get to 85 for some, some of this stuff to grow, okay? So I'm going to show you a realistic thing of what's going on. Kind of chit-chat about what I plan on doing. Not just fall, just like this weekend. The girls have been working at my really good girlfriend's farm every week. Literally working every week. Um, trying to earn some, they're trying to earn some money for back to school. They, uh, yeah, girl, back to school. So my kids literally have like two and a half weeks before school starts. What we wore last year, we gave fit this year, okay? But we've been thrifting, y'all, so stay tuned for that. I'm about to film a video today on some stuff I picked up for myself. And the girls found a ton of, like, hoodies. Uh, Christopher did, too. I'm shocked. But um, we're back to thrifting and just shopping and enjoying, like, the back-to-school experience. So stay tuned for some back-to-school videos like we used to do. We're going to share some with y'all. But let's just talk about these overgrown towers and everything else is going on and you're going to see at four or five o'clock if this thing doesn't overheat what my plants look like now mind you everything was watered this morning and last night okay we can't be out here long because i don't want it to overheat but we are going to go through some key um growth over here just some just some little key areas that are i think are important when discussing um like what's going on in texas okay so excuse the powder so normally i put seven around the garden like i told you all before but i saw some of the red crawly things and i sprinkled some on the leaves of the eggplant i did trim out the eggplant quite a bit because if you remember that eggplant was way over here it's still some right there and they're still growing the flowers are still growing and this is still next year i'm gonna make sure i plant this early in spring that was, and plant that at the top that was so pretty to me now even though I'm complaining about this heat, I still have things that are growing. Like I still got some peppers and these are banana peppers that are turning like yellow, orange color because they've been out here and this heat is just doing them so dirty. But you see all the flowers on here? We literally could have had a ton of peppers and they're trying. It's just hot. You know, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Let me see if I can lift it up some. But they're trying to grow. You see right there? It is, you know whatever 
all right so the basil is doing good that is a thai basil and this was just a snippet of thai basil from the huge thai basil that was right there okay so this is what this looks like right now this tower there's wasps and bees all over here so let me just go around for those who've been around, this is my lemongrass I picked up from the grocery store. We put it in water and rooted it, and this is what it's looking like. So this will go into a big pot. Eventually, this will go into a huge pot, and we can have, like, a big bush of lemongrass. I love lemongrass, by the way. Everything else is kind of overgrown and needs to be trimmed, and we talked about this. This plant right here needs to be trimmed, the little balls or whatever, topiaries. And yeah, still have flowers, you know, on some of these plants. And then some of these plants are just dying. They're struggling. It's a struggle, honey. All right, let me go around. Excuse the cars. You know, this is urban gardening. This is just us in the backyard. And remember, I keep cutting this back. We were, I was eating this during my raw journey for those. Uh, speaking of, and we're going to do it again soon. And then we're going to do some live TikToks and eat with me for dinner starting um, in a week or two, so stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, there is some um, chives. I need to trim back and cut some more, and this keeps growing. So I'm definitely gonna do the mustard and collard towers, like I said I was gonna do, and all things like fall and winter in these towers. I think one tower is just gonna be like broccoli and Brussels sprouts, that kind of thing. I'm just gonna go for it. All right, so what is this? It's a Cosmo. Okay, so here's some more lemongrass. I just want to show you the different varieties of plants I'm growing in this tower. It's a lot of lemongrass. This is crazy how much is grown from like this stalk. But we do have a zinnia over here because you know I like to bring colorful flowers to bring pollinators. And it's just coming out of the, normally around this time of year, this stevia is dead. Normally, every year. What I did this year was make sure it was on the back side. So you see how the sun is that way and we're on the back side. So all things back here are shaded. This is why this basil has no flowers on it because we're back here. And oh my goodness, we have a pepper here. Okay, pepper, come on now. And my blackberries are still blackberrying. Look at that. Look at all them in there. Y'all see all them? We don't even pick them anymore because we haven't been out here. It's hot. <laughs> this is the only jasmine that's still alive right now. All the rest of them kind of died back. They'll grow back, but you see it's climbing. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. And it's only because it's in this shaded area over here. All right, so matter of fact, let me just swing around, sorry y'all, and give you an idea of what this little area looks like. So that's the tower. That's everything that's growing on it. Everything that's like died back or anything like that, I kind of picked out. And is this another one? I know it's a bee over here. I just saw them. That's another pepper. Come on, peppers. Yeah, we just need to cool off. But all this is just dead. My Mexican mint. And yeah, this is just dead, child. We're going to cut all that back. But my mint dies around this time, too. See that? Remember, we used to have barrels and barrels of that. That's why I harvest so much at a time because I know it's going to die back. All right, let's swing over here. Let's see what's going over here. We have the water hose over here. We was watering our compost because I expect my son to come sometime soon. And when he does, I need him to help me turn that and give me what's good up in there out. So this is a zinnia that has fallen over due to whatever reason. And it's just so pretty and bushy. And I'm just going to leave it there. It'll probably eventually drop its own seeds and it'll reseed itself. So once again, we have the potatoes over here. We're going to leave them be. Just keep watering them. Just leave them be. We have these peppers, which, as you see, I haven't been out here. Girl, I have not been out here. I just have not been out It's hot. <laughs> we have some lemon balm that smells amazing. I want to learn before the summer's out, or maybe even when the kids go back to school, how to make lemon balm soap. So we use this as a tea. I love the leaves to do like this. Um, after I've used garlic in my hands like for cooking because oh man that smells amazing it takes the scent away immediately so yeah look at my poor hibiscus I'm gonna water everything tonight again but yeah it's just what and look at that there's some more growing there lemon balm that is that pineapple sage and I mean there's a steak here I don't know why nothing ugh. 
why everything is off of the steak. Like, I don't understand. Oh, I know why. Hold on. Hey, we didn't come out here for all this, but since we're here, oop. Let's see what happened. The potato vines were wrapped around and it was pulling them down. So that's, that's why they were laying on the ground. Okay. All right, so they're standing up now. <laughs> they're all standing up and potato vines are just growing, I guess. All right, so moving over to this bed. We all know I planted a bunch of seeds, kurabi, chard, all the good things. Yeah, whatever, whatever grows, grows. I noticed that this uh, coleus has now started growing there. I didn't know coleus dropped seeds and grow. I did not know that. It, so I'm gonna take, let me show you these toppers right here. You see these little toppers with the seeds in them? I'm gonna take those and see if I can grab those seeds <laughs> and just for next year and spread them everywhere. Cause they're so pretty all right so everything's still here strawberry plant is still here it's just you know nothing's growing like i said we're going to keep this tomato so when the heat goes away we'll be good now this is what i mean by flowering all this has decided to flower this basil like i said we're in dead of sun honey and then nothing nothing is surviving over here right now it's all good eggplant's still growing i mean eggplant's like you know it's a soldier Look at that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Got doggone walls. Oh, well, at least he didn't sting me. Oh, this is the big one back here. Oh, my God. Please get on. Oh, that eggplant is huge. It's so big. It's got the whole plant leaning. Yep, we got to get that out of there. The reality of it is that. That's the reality. So, this is my bell peppers right now. And they're in under a shade cloth. Do y'all see this? This is so freaking sad. Yeah, well, it's all good. We're gonna cut all that back. Probably this weekend. Oh, shoot. I think I just got stung again. All right, so this is amaranth. I wanna call it amaranth. I can't think of the name. I know it's basil in here somewhere, but for some freaking reason, it's wasps keep flying close to my face. And yeah, so it's there. Some basil in there, it's amaranth. There is some flowers popping up back here. The corn is looking really good. It has wasps all over it. So the wasps are doing their job. I'm gonna leave them alone. The wasps are doing their job. And then this is the basil and kale and whatever else is trying to grow. I did order some nets and hoops. So hopefully I can net and hoop up some stuff for fall and we can grow um, a lot of food without getting bugs or whatever. So this pear tree is just it's just here. It needs to come out this pot and be putting something else. All these uh, these trees are just kind of leaning and doing their thing right now. I haven't had time to really stake them properly. I want to put some string and kind of attach them to the fence where they're like, make them stand up straight. So I'll be doing that soon. And then this one looks good. That apple tree. I mean, you could tell it's like, I mean, it is what it is, but yeah, and, and and I water them. So yeah, this is every day. This droops every day, no matter what. This is my jasmine. This is what I mean by the jasmine. I'm sorry. This is what I mean by the jasmine like dying back on me. But this happened last year, and all I did was cut it back, and that one you just saw, it grew right back. So yeah. Oh man. Yeah, everything is just looking like. Eh, eh. All right, so this was watered really good this morning. You can't even freaking tell. I mean, it's wet down here. Kind of moist. Oh, it's so, yeah. So these are beets. And, yeah. It's crazy. Look at that. This is the papaya. Everything has burnt leaves. Everything. All right, let's make our way over here to this jungle. You can see all the crispy leaves in here as well. Everything is just a struggle. We're on a struggle bus, honey. We're on a struggle bus. And that one's not really ready yet. I don't even smell them. This one is not that. Yes, they're little too. And they're little. They're not even getting big. That's another thing. They're not getting big. I think it's some more like down up in here. They're not getting big like the ones I, when, I, when they first, you know, started growing. So, I'm going to come out here tonight and water really good. This mandevilla doesn't look as bad as the one that's um, down there. That one looks horrible. 
So we're gonna just soak up everything tonight. I need to harvest as much leaves as I can from this guava. Since we're not producing fruit this year anyway, it's really good when you, you harvest these leaves and dry them. The tea has been really good. I've been harvesting a few at a time. So yes, I finally got rid of the bug issue on this apple tree and yeah. It, it's okay. Like I said, the leaves got a little burnt crisp on the ends, but I mean, I don't know how many more weeks of summer we got of this heat, but your girl's gonna keep watering and taking care of these plants as much as I can. And this is the only persimmon tree that's really looking good. Y'all see my dragonfly? <laughs> Everywhere I go, he's, he's there. Anyway, this plant looks so pretty. Oh, it's doing so good. And this is finally starting to like revive itself it was smothered with that marigold so it's starting to do a little something i think my camera's getting overheated all right so let me hurry up this is the banana every day every other week or something this gives me a new leaf so it's definitely the same height as me if not taller now and this baby over here was watered thoroughly this morning so this so even though i'm gonna say this i'm gonna shade a little bit i can't it's wild over there even though the buckets did good and they're growing and I'm getting okra like every other day. I've been eating raw okra like every other day, right? I can't say that these buckets hold the moisture longer than these. So I would probably stick to growing them in here or in the ground instead of in these bags that you normally put potatoes in. I'll say that. But we still get okra like every day. Here's a whole crown head of okra, a whole bunch of them popping up. There's wasps over here, so I'm just kind of being careful. And then there's some more right there. So I'll probably eat those tomorrow. The cherry is so big. So if you see a cherry and they're like 15 bucks and you think, oh, it's a little small plant, just know it goes up and out. It is wide. So it takes up a lot of space, but it's over there like partially shaded. So I'm learning also to, um, so let me go over here in the shade. So I'm also learning how to plant certain foods underneath something that was shaded. So like this right here being the peach tree, I should have put the bags of like okra or maybe the bags of like certain like fruit plants or food plants under here where it would still have the sun, but have the shade from Miss Peaches. That's what I should have did and I didn't, which I could still move the bags over here, which I probably still will because you know, but I don't have anything for it to sit on. It's just ground. Whereas over there, we have the mulch and all that. But this would have helped with shading. All right, I had to go and get the camera cooled off. <laughs> but I'm back. All right, so like I said, I might just take these. But you see, they're shaded now. Um, just like that peach tree is shading. It's also shaded right now. It's just not shaded all day. And plus, okra like sun. It's just that I think the water evaporates quicker in those bags. That's all. All right, so coming over here. So, you know, I did put some more cucumber seeds down. And let me show you, girl. Look at that. This one right here is... So, this one right here is about dead. And these two right here are about dead. But they're trying. It's just... Yeah, I just need to deeply water them. Nothing's growing under here. Nothing's going to be here anyway. In a minute, I'm going to fold this up for fall. I think I think I want to do butternut squash over here. I still don't know if I should do like butternut squash or some type of squash climbing vine thing. Y'all let me know if I should do that or just fold it up and plant something right here. Yeah, give me that. Give me give me your suggestion. But anyway, you see my jasmine. They're just, they've had it. It's time to go. And these two right here are trying to go and survive, but it's just hard. And that's the lemon cucumbers. But yeah, we'll probably try it again during fall. My falls are quite warm, yet mild to us, but quite warm. So we might try to do lemon cucumbers up here on the trellis here. Or I might just fold up though in the garage and just plant something here. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to shade y'all. So stepping back, this is how big Miss Peaches is right now. Y'all, it's a struggle. All right, so we got on over here to these grow towers. All right, so these are the Guardian grow towers. And I should be doing a much better job of taking care of them than what I am. I'm not. <laughs> but I'm going to show you something that's very shocking to me, okay? I told you all. Look at that wind coming through. Come on, wind. 
Mm. I told you all I have never been successful in growing short here. For some reason, I have a hard time growing short. Well, I can grow short in my grow towers. Look at this. This is crazy. I'm so shocked. So once again, these are the, uh-oh, I am total plant. I'm so sorry. These are the okra plants that are here. This is supposed to be an okra shard and like some flowers. And here's some more coming. Look at that. Look at this. Can you believe this? Take a shard. Anyway, so look at the basil. Look how pretty it looks over here in this tower. But it's, I think it's because it's on the side. It kind of gets shaded. And then up here you can see some okra coming here. And then this, this back of the tower, nothing's growing. What was growing, I kind of took out. I was like, yeah, I'm going to take it out. Look at this, poor flowers. Yeah, we have some growing back here, some little, it's probably kale or something. And then this beautiful flower, I told you all I love this flower. What is this called again? This is Sardiva. Yeah, I love this flower, it's so pretty to me. And it does well in the heat, so I like it in this color, the white or the purple. So I'll do that more next year. This okra just never, never. And this borage it, it won't even really flower for me because it's hot so i'm just gonna kind of lay it around here like this it's hot poor baby this is not the season for it all right so let's get to the bean tower unsuccessful <laughs> i should have did this in spring oh my goodness look look looky looky crispy crispy yeah it's okay. I'm still watering it. I mean, I'm hoping, like I said, this one, look how crazy this is. Y'all see this vine? Let me show you where this vine is coming from. But yeah, you can see even in the back, back here where it's not as hot. I can't believe it's wind blowing. It feels so good. All right, let me get some of these out of here. This is supposed to be snackers. This is supposed to be patio snackers and it's supposed to be really small, but they're not. They're not. They are vining everywhere. So when the flowers open up this weekend, I'm gonna go ahead and hand pollinate these and get some of these snackers. But they're it's not that small. Not like they said it was gonna be. And this it was the zucchini squash or something like that. It's okay. Mm, probably won't do this again in a tower, but like I said, it was a test. Okay. These beans are just poor beans. I don't even know what's in here. What kind of bean is in here? Ooh, is that a black eyed pea? <laughs> All right, so anyway, if this was spring, I would probably have a huge thing of black eyed peas. Like, they would probably be everywhere, but it's not spring. And I left them out here too long, and I just haven't been out here ready in like over a week. I kind of wanted to chill last week and just be to myself and just kind of like have me time. And I just didn't come out here. I mean, I came out here like one day. It was, it's besides watering. Now that I got that water thing that waters automatically, I can use my phone and just turn it on and start watering my garden. I just really haven't been out here. Let's keep it real. So this one was supposed to be a bushy container style purple hull pea. That's what this was supposed to be. But this actually vines. So now that I know this, I will make sure next year to grab some of these and put them in places that can actually vine. Now I know I can get the seeds from, which I, maybe I'll just keep these. Oh, shoot. Maybe I'll just keep these and make my own. But yeah, so yeah, so I have purple hole peas. I have black eyed peas. I have green beans, cucumber snackers, all the things, and a beautiful... Zinnia and they're just all struggling and they're all watered. They're watered really good So it's not the roots. That's the problem. It's the actual leaf and the flowers or whatever is struggling So yeah, look how long and pretty this one is So I'll go ahead and pollinate this so that we can have some cucumbers To snack on just put them off and just eat them, you know, so anyway this one struggled that one's a little struggling over there too it's just that we'll just we'll do more in fall winter and spring and maybe let these rest for summer next year maybe i'll just let most of my garden rest in summer and only grow spring fall and winter and then if it's something that does grow in summer then fine 
so that is those two that's what's going on right now in zone 9 in 106 degree temp <laughs> and then over here there this one's doing really good but this one has things like basil and tomatoes and peppers and basil peppers and tomatoes grow so freaking well together in these towers like they're just thriving off each other and i think it's because they all attract pollinators or whatever and so this is like a lime basil i think and this is like the lemon basil it's become a whole freaking bush i'm about to cut all this back i keep saying i'm gonna cut it back and every time i cut it back it grows right back so yeah that's that and i'm going to dry all this it's all the way up to my umbrella y'all just so you know okay and what else we have in this one we have some peppers in this one we have a bunch of bee activity because of the thai basil Ooh. And like I said, I put some seven over here because we had those bugs. But as you see, I still got a million bees. So this, the seven doesn't deter the bugs. Okay, the bees. I just want you to know. We got some thug bees over here, honey. And back up in here, we have a red pepper there. I'm not messing with your plant. Stop doing that. Oh my goodness, it's flying around me. Look at that. They're just annoyed. Anyway, so that sweet herb down there still doing really good this is some cosmos that popped out this tomato i cut back oh it's beef flying around me again this tomato right here i did cut it back but it's um it's growing again it's just struggling with the flowers this one is still producing all of the yellow tomatoes for me and you see how this one is way over here to my door now like this was not here this was not here this was not this big but it's growing it's just that let me lift it up i just don't want to get stung again i'm about to do a better job staking it because it's actually touching the umbrella when it stands up i'm gonna do a better job with that but i literally come out here and we pick these almost every day I, i'm always with a bunch of these yellow tomatoes and y'all know i just wash them off and eat them because i like them yellow orange whatever color you, you want to say but they're still growing over here and i think it's just the area now i do have some flowers on my basil and this is that basil that is the um what's that basil called they look like lettuce that big leaf basil that's what this is i'm still gonna eat this trust me and i just been chopping this up and putting it in tea I don't know if I feel a difference because my teas are already a little potent. <laughs> so, yeah. But this is my Thai basil that I chopped off and put some in the other system that's behind us. And then this mint is still yet holding on. It's about to die out, though, probably really soon. But, yeah, that's everything outdoors, y'all. So, it has been crazy how much everything grows in these towers. All right, so. I'm inside. I thought I'd come inside and close out the video inside so that, uh, yeah, she will be sweating to death. But uh, about two weeks ago, about two and a half weeks ago, we did the tower, right? And I told you all I was going to go through the tower. I have basically eaten my tower because, I mean, I was just picking lettuce every day, eating raw, you know, just the whole thing. And I said, I'm going to redo my tower, start over with new seeds and new growth and whatever, and that I was going to see if I can get some of the plants outside and propagate them to make more plants, whatever, or to just cut and make roots and bring them indoors. And I was really scared about that because I was scared of the bugs or whatever, but, but it's been two weeks. I have good news. Your girl did it. I literally put the plants I brought inside into the water with my device, the aqua pur device that gets rid of bugs, it vibrates and does whatever it does with the light and make sure nothing, you know, no bugs or anything that's on your food. I did that first. Excuse my lips, okay? So, let me show you what I did. I end up moving the basil. So I have one slither of basil here and it's rooted. I can show you how the roots in a minute. And I have one down here. So let me just show you if I can pull this out without getting water everywhere. You see this? And this is from me bringing it outside in. So I was able to bring it outside in and get me some roots. And so I can start growing what I'm growing outside indoors. Okay, so then I have my green onions. I have some lettuce growing now. Some more lettuce, some more lettuce. I have, these are not growing at all. This kind of got a little something, but they're not really growing right now. This is mint. 
I brought from my side in. I don't know, it's struggling. No, yeah. All right, so here is another mint right here. This is that this is that big leaf basil I brought from outside in. It's been two weeks. Y'all see these roots? It's been two weeks. I'm so excited. So I was like, okay, before everything started dying because of the heat, right? Let's start snipping off some stuff and bringing it indoors so we can keep growing what we love outside indoors, right? During this season. So this is just struggling right now. I don't even remember what that was. This is another piece of mint. Let me actually, let me come down here. I'm trying to hurry up before this light pops on. This is shard. This is like from that shard I showed y'all about a week or so ago and I was telling y'all it's a lot that was coming out of that shard shoot. And I thought it was originally I thought it was arugula, but I was able to bring it in and root it. So that's here. Here's another plant. And um, let's see here. What else? Oh, here's some more mint over here. I love this lettuce. This lettuce is so good. I'm going to pick that one today. But uh, yeah, so everything's starting to fill in again. And this time I'm taking really good care of it and watching it. I'm putting the water in and I'm using a different type of fertilizer for indoor than I used last time. I thought it was over here. It's not over here. Okay. We'll talk about that another day. So I'm excited about everything that's going on and how things are going. There's a few more things outside I would love to bring inside. And I have a whole video on something I'm going to share it with you in like a day or two. I just need to edit it. But for right now, let me show you what's going on with this. This turns the light on so we can close this um, video out. So remember, uh, I was gifted this from Angie and she, Angela, and she sent me the pods that go inside with the cones. Remember, she sent me these. Well, I went ahead and put my seeds in, and this is what everything looks like. So everything has sprouted, and everything looks really good, except for this one. This is on the struggle bus. Don't worry about it. But everything looks really good. Do y'all see this? All right. So... I told you all, a company sent me one too. It's unplugged because I unplug everything until it's time to plug stuff, okay? Conserve energy. All right. So a company sent me one too. So we're going to talk about this one in a couple of days. But y'all see that, that, that lettuce back there? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? <laughs> y'all see them sprouts popping up? Y'all see that. Anyway, I'm trying something with the, the, with this particular one because the base is a little bit deeper. So I'm trying something with that one. So stay tuned for that. But thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I just wanted to stop in and share this with you all. And um, just hang out with y'all a little bit. Now, I am planning. Sorry for making y'all dizzy. I'm planning on doing something pretty neat on TikTok soon. And I just want y'all to come over to TikTok and follow me if you aren't following me. If you are a TikToker, okay, if you like to scroll TikTok, I want to do a, like a, either a lunch with me live, like every so many days a week, and a dinner with me live. And it's all going to be raw meals or really healthy plant-based meals where we either cook together or we just sit down and eat together and you can ask all the questions you want. I think it's easier on there than it is on YouTube. So the way it goes. So make sure you're following me at H2 Plant Based Beauty on TikTok. And I'm going to probably start that up on Monday or Sunday. I'm going to probably do a trial on Sunday. I'm going to do a grocery haul, film all that, share that with you all. Hopefully I can do that before the end. And then, so you can kind of see the groceries I'm buying, what I'm eating, what I'm doing. And then I want to come up with like a menu and do something real fun for us for either the end of August or the beginning of September. Give y'all time to get your mind right. Kids getting back to school. And maybe in September, we can do a raw challenge together where we're either doing raw for like the month or seven days, five days, or you juice for, juice with me for three days, whatever it is, right? And just give you a quick update. I, um... I ate a sandwich today, a, a almond butter and jelly sandwich today, and I was so full. <laughs> Day before yesterday, I had like this mushroom stir fry with like these really, they're organic noodles. They, they have like no, nothing to them, but, and I was okay, but I felt uh, gassy. So I'm really enjoying this raw thing. <laughs> 
I think I'm just going to end up being high raw, to be honest, when I think about it. I'm eating more raw food than cooked food, basically. Because, like, today, no cooked food. Just had a sandwich because I feel like I needed something. Actually, I'm about to juice this watermelon right now. Like, this is going to be dinner. Probably just some juice. I, I'm not in the mood for food. So, yeah, i just been really enjoying the raw thing. And I just want to share more with you all, plus some plant-based ideas. So, if you're interested, please come to TikTok and hang out with your girl. And so we can do lunch together, you know, lunch dates, at, you know, at live or dinner dates live. You know, it'd be noon or it'd be at seven. They don't do notifications, but I will make sure I put out a notification on YouTube that says, hey, I'm going live on TikTok. Come over and join me. And if I do that, you need to make sure you have your notifications on, on this channel. Make sure you are subscribed so you'll be notified each and every time I do an upload or a notification or a post in my community tab. And I will see you all on the next video. Thank you so much for rocking with me this year. I have reached over 80K. And I, I don't even know what to say. I needed a break, like a four-day just chill and just marinate on where I've been and how far I've came, how far I've come, right? And I was just uh, sitting there looking at that number like, well, this is shocking. Like, it's shocking to me. I'm appreciative of it, but I'm so still like... When I put that number into people, like in real people, <laughs> even though that many people are not watching every video, but still that many people thought of me enough to click subscribe. It's, it's amazing. And I'm so grateful. So I just want to say thank you all. I appreciate you all so much for those who've been hanging with me for years, all the way to, from the thrift days, friend. Okay. Your girl is back thrifting, just so you know. Anyway, so I'll see you on the next video. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Peace and blessings.